Sa bawat matamis na tagumpay sa sports, meron itong katapat na mapait na pagkatalo. At sa nakarang taon, ilan sa biggest upset sa ating nasaksihan. Ngayong gabi sa part 2 ng year-ender ng SNA, we're settling the final score with two sportsmen who were defeated yet determined to bounce back and seek redemption. Pabalikan din natin ang nag-trending sa mga Pinoy at naging most tweeted sporting event. At bibigyan po gayang angking galing ng mga atletang nag-uwi ng karangalan sa Pilipinas. Ako si TJ Manoto. At ako si Diane Castillejo. And this is the final score. The UAB Season 80, Santana College. The Warriors are NBA champions again. WBO International Fellowweight Champion, Adams University. Nakasober naman si Michael Martinez sa ice skating event. Kumawa ng kasaysayan ng Pilipinas bilang unang Southeast Asian Games Ice Hockey Champion. Mga Pinoy athletes, dinagdagan pa ang medal hall ng bansa sa Southeast Asian Games. Sa judo, dalawang Pilipino Japanese ang nakapagbigay ng Taekwondo Kyoryugi. Nagpakita ng gas ang... And the Dallas Rock University Ladies Fighters have won Women's Volleyball Championship! Bago pa lang magsimula ang NCAA Season 93, lahat ng basketball analysts, pati na rin ang mga coaches ng NCAA teams, sinasabi ng Lyceum University of the Philippines Pirates ang title favorites. Yan ang dahil sa kanilang formidable lineup na pinangungunahan ni CJ Perez, Mike and Suzu, Marcelino Twins at MJAI. Sa ilalim pa ng guidance ni head coach Topex Robinson. Attack Perez! At hindi nag-aksaya ng panahon ng Pirates na ipinamalas kung anong kaya nilang gawin sa bawat taro. Nakipagbakbakan. At lahat na nakaharap sa elimination round, tinalo ng LPU. Mapablowout win o close game, hindi sila kumurap. At ang resulta. And it is official! Woo! Kasaysayan! Para sa LPU! Ang kauna na ang 18-0 sweep ng eliminations in NCAA Seniors Basketball History. Nakuha din ng Pirates ang automatic finals berth na as a sweep. Si Perez ang pinangalan ng MVP. At mask din sa Mythical 5 ang kanyang teammate na si Nsuzu. Si JC Marcelino naman ang Rookie of the Year. Give him a screen. Here's a corner three. Yes! Pero lahat ng achievements ng Pirates sa Eliminations, naglahong parang bula nang makaharap nila ang defending champions na San Beda Red Lion. Gamit ang kanilang championship experience, hindi pinaporma ng Red Lions ang Pirates sa Finals. Nakadala mas sweep para makuha ang 21st NCAA title ng San Beda. At ngayong gabi, we settled the final score with Coach Topex Robinson of LPU. Binisita siya ni Mix Bustos para himayin ang isa sa biggest upsets in NCAA history. Matapos ang pagkabigong makuhang kampinato, paano nga ba bumabangon ang kanyang kubunan para sa bagong bakbakan ngayong 2018? Viva! Hello mga kapamilya, I'm with Coach Topex Robinson of the LPU Pirates. Coach Topex, magandang araw po. Magandang araw, Sir Nix. Uh, Coach Topex, um, the LPU Pirates right now moving into Season 94. Kamusta naman ang team mo ngayon? Uh, after uh, trying a sea of, uh, no, of uh, I guess, frustration of, over the, the series or the finals, we were okay. Uh, life must go on for us. Uh, we were focusing now on, on other uh, other uh, leagues that, that we're looking at. Trying to grow, trying to trying to mature, and trying to be, I mean, learning from that experience that we have during Season 93. Uh, coach Topex, before becoming a coach for the LPU Pirates, sabi mo nga, you retired in 2010, but before that, you played for Montaña, you played for Baraco Bull, um, San Juan Knights, also in the NBA. Was it ever your calling na ginusto mo maging coach later on? Uh, I find it weird, but the moment I got into the PBA, uh, I already told myself that after playing basketball, I'm, I'm gonna get into coaching. Uh, maybe it's because most of my career, I, I rode the bench. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, I guess one of the things also was when I was my first team in the PBA mm -hmm. was with Coach Yang, mm -hmm. and uh, I really look up to him. Uh, I told myself I'm gonna I'm gonna be like him someday, and I always write down the things that he he writes down on the board. So 
I always look at him the way he handles us. So I already know that you know I'll, I'll be coaching in the in the future. Coach Shopex, besides from Coach Yang, sino po po ba yung mga coaches na naging idol ninyo or mga naging mentor ninyo? Paano siya na naging instrumental sa inyong coaching? I think uh, there's a lot. Obviously, Coach Yang, Coach Leo, Austria was my my coach in the in the PBL before. Coach uh, Tim Cohn, I was blessed to have a year with Coach Tim. And uh, there's there's so many coaches that I really look up to. I mean, Coach Louie, obviously. So there's so many of them that, that really influenced me and really was an... Uh, 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 serve as a mentor to me. Mm -hmm. Is there one thing in common between all those coaches na tingin mo na nakatulong para sa uh, one, one, I guess one common denominator as far as my relationships with there was concerned was they were, they were, they, they built deeper relationships with the players. I guess, uh, again, way beyond the X and the O's, uh, I guess the reason why we follow those coaches is because we felt that we, they cared for us. Coach Topex, uh, they say coaching is a thankless job. You know, once w when you're up, when you're winning, you you're like the king of the world. But then when you go down, it's like everybody is against you. Um, but is there something that keeps you going, keeps you motivated w when it comes to that? Uh, some are given this opportunity to coach, but to, for you to commit to be a leader, it's, it has to be a choice. Mm -hmm. And very important here is you have to commit. And one thing that, that's very important being a coach's courage. You have to know your why. Mm -hmm. You know, you really have to go deep into your thoughts that why am I here? So far in your three years with the LPU, what has been the most challenging for you? Uh, for me, the, the I guess the first few years was, was kind of deep. You know, it's really hard because you came in there with, uh, with the culture that they had already. I guess also one of the hardest things for me was to take out more than half of my players. There you go. To bring in the guys that I think is aligned with with my beliefs, I have to be really deep or, or courageous enough to to tell this kid that you're not gonna be part of the team next year. So that's that's really hard on on my end. Talking about the NCA eliminations, did you expect that you guys were going for it? Nobody, I mean, nobody really expected us to be. Not even me. I was I was I was really surprised by by the outcome of of, uh, the, of that season. But again. We always go back to our, our vision, you know. We always tell, we all, I always tell myself, being being the, the coach, that you know, winning is just gonna be the result of, of our of our vision, you know. And I'm more excited, and I'm, I'm more looking at the vision rather than the results. That 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 game, that last game against San Beda during the eliminations was was the was the final game for us to sweep this, the the season. So it was a blessing for us, you know. It, it, it taught us a lot of lessons and what's important is the lessons that we've, we've learned is going to carry, carry us along in our, in our journey. Coach, in terms of being on the court, what made LPU special? I guess it's, it's uh, the buy-in of the, of the beliefs, you know, from, from our staff down to our president. So everybody was, was really committed to really changing the culture. Kumbaga, binuhusan nila lahat. They just gave everything that they, they have and believed in you. Mm -hmm. natin ang kwento, ang huling kabanata dito sa Season 93 ng NCAA. It is LPU versus San Beda in Game 1 of the Finals. What rocked the boat in Game 1? It's gonna be my mistake because I, I let a lot of things uh, happen. Uh, mm -hmm. and I, I wasn't able to prepare the team, I guess, in a way that finals should be played. You know, uh, we have to, I always have to remind myself that I have a bunch of rookies that were not used to playing in that kind of atmosphere. And again, the, uh, San Beda was the better team. You know, they were the better team. Uh, they were a well-coached team. So we just couldn't hold, uh, hold on to that, to that lead. And when they started, Getting on the rhythm, we weren't able to stop. San Beda has that uh, finals experience. Coming in to next year, uh, Coach Topex, you have that finals experience already. What is going to be the expectation coming? We're still going to play our, our brand of basketball. It won't guarantee of a, of a sweep again. Yeah. But again, uh, it's always going to be how we, we're going to perceive ourselves. I guess this is going to be the test of our characters. You know, uh, people obviously will rank us as, I guess, either one or two in, in this uh, season. But again, we have to always remember that we're always going to be at our very best at any given opportunity. You know, you're always going to compete at the level that the others are competing. So that's going to be the same, the, the same um, 
vision that we're gonna have. And it is official! Coach, what was the feeling like when came to the championship, when the final buzzer sounded? I know it's something unique. Mm -hmm. And then how are you gonna use that as motivation? I mean, experience is the best teacher. Uh, it was really, I mean, tough on us, especially on my end, that, that I know that my, uh, my players deserve to win the championship. And I just felt that, you know, it's my, it's my responsibility or it's my fault that, that we didn't go all the way. And we always have to go back to that. Actually, during the awarding ceremonies, everybody was out yeah. there. And, and I just want to make sure that everybody sees... It's a class act. Uh, yeah, how, yes. how is it? We respect San Beda winning the championship. They, they deserve it. And it's also a reminder to us that, you know, you have to really see how it feels to win a championship. What happened in the dugout, Coach, after that? Again, it was emotional. Everybody was emotional. I was, I was emotional, but the management was there mm -hmm. celebrating. I was like, I, was, I felt bad, but I, I see our, our president, Mr. Bobby Laurel, congratulating us. I was like, weird. You yes. know, but it, yeah. it, it, it was genuine, you know. It was genuine. It was, it was, you know, he was really proud of what we did. Almost every every senior guy there in San Beda congratulated us. You know, the, the fans of San Beda were congratulating us. I guess again at the end of the day, it's you know it, it's not just about the wins, you know, but how you play the game. Better coach coming into next year, your preparation for the LPU Fire? Uh, we're we're joining again. Uh, we started early. Uh, we just had a few days break. Mm -hmm. You know, trying to lick uh, lick our wounds, and we're joining uh, leagues now. We're joining commercial. We're, we're Obviously, there's the there's the collegiate uh, league that's coming up, and we we try to get better at, at ourselves and try to improve individually. Coach, next year the core is still very much alive. Uh, yes, uh, we we lost two guys. Uh, we lost Wilson Baltasar and then uh, Pipoy Marata to to graduation, and I mean we're excited because pretty much we have the same core, and we're, we're excited. For the guys that, that we're gonna bring in, and we know that the other teams are have also improved, you know. Uh, but again, at, at the end of the day, it's how we're gonna improve as a group. That's important for us. As a coach uh, in your career and in life, what is maybe the one thing or two that you learned from this season? It's about how you really build relationships. You know, the deeper the relationship with with anybody on on, on the group is. It's really special, you know. The law of reciprocity is, you know, you genuinely love others, they, they will genuinely love you back. We always preach this to everybody that, you know, it doesn't have to always be you being the boss, you always being right, that your players are always wrong. So, again, you, you could have that kind of relationship that you build that circle of safety that they're gonna come to practice inspired, feel safe when they're in practice, and come home fulfilled at the end of the day. All right, there you have it. We'll see Coach Topex more the season 94 ng NCAA. Coach Topex, thank you. Thank you. Thank, 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 you. You, thank you. For more sports updates, keep watching The Score. And don't forget to subscribe.